Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036 0703 768 Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. Few words that I sense we should conclude this meeting with Colossians chapter 4. I just want you to note Colossians 4. It was one of the passages that we were to use for our training yesterday when we were learning on how to prepare the word of God to preach. And we were to look at chapter 7, I mean chapter 4, verse 7 to 18, to draw outline for building a teamwork. And I was excited when I saw several different groups brought out very, very strong outline out of this passage yesterday. But for me tonight as a final word that God will have us to deal with. I want to ask you to do the following things. We read from verse 15, verse 15, up to verse 18. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nimpas and the church which is in his house. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul, remember my bonds, grace be with you, Amen. Amen. What is the word that I want you to go with? There are four things that that scripture outlined from verse 15 to 18. And they are the four things I'd like you to do. Don't forget as you go from here. Salute the brethren. Please, when you get back to your churches, salute the brethren for us. Tell them the body of Christ as we gather from various denominations. We are all united praying that in every segment in which the name of Christ is named, in all our various traditions, we have come to discover that we are one and that the word of God that binds us together is real. So as you go, salute the brethren. The brethren which are in the locations where you come from. Bring our greetings across to the brethren and tell them we love them. You wonder why I'm asking you to do that. While you are here, they were expecting that something will happen. They were looking forward. Some of them went back to the vicarage, say, what of the vicar? They say, ah, he went to Boko. And your wives were not here, but they greeted and said, may the Lord bring them back safely. Please, when you get back to your pulpit, 
don't forget to salute the brethren. It is because of the brethren that God has put you in the ministry. Am I right? It's because of the flock that God is focusing on you like this. Keep them at the center of your heart. Greet the church. Bring the greeting of grace and the blessing of our fellowship. Take it across to the brethren. What will that do? What will that do? As I was looking at scriptures, and I found that Paul, even though he has spoken big, 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 big mysteries, he never ends an epistle without mentioning people's names. I used to wonder how such a busy man of God will remember people name by name. It is because the church is not a project, it's a people. The church is not a mere program, it's people. The church over the which God has called us as ministers, they are people. It is not the building, the church building is not the church, it is the people. And in all your ministry, don't forget that you are touching men. Touch them for God. Salute the brethren. Recognize what God has put together. There may be few, there may be many. Your parish, they may not be as large. But that is a very central matter in the heart of God. As you go, please carry our love, our greetings, and the grace that we share together, please carry it to the brethren, and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, you have come from a very difficult place. Some of you, you have come from where the church is actually struggling. Some of you, you have come where the churches have suffered damage either because Boko Haram or something or the other. And several of them are wondering, are we alone? Please tell the brethren that the whole church, all the 31 denominations that were represented in this meeting, please tell your local church that we greet them. It will do something that you don't know. They say, eh? So they know that we exist. Tell them we do. And the Lord will increase that church. Because when your church grows, it's the church, the church of the Lord that is growing. Are we together? If your church makes progress, we have made progress. If God causes the fire of revival to break forth in the corner where you are, that same fire is our fire. Please, don't forget this. Hallelujah. Those that came from the Izi, the Ezars, you have been ministering in that corner for many years. God has brought you to us and we have come to know you. Please salute the brethren. Tell them that they belong to a bigger body and that the entire body of Christ we love them. God bless you. Number two. Verse 16. When this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodicea. What's the meaning of that? Truth not spread. Truth not preached. Is truth perished. Light that is not allowed to shine is light quenched. And I saw, saw Brother Paul say, this letter that you have read, this epistle that I've written to you, that is a blessing to you, do what? Cause it to be read also at the church of the Laodiceans. What's the responsibility we want you to bear? 
This thing that God has used to touch you, to bless you, don't keep it. Cause it to be read or to be heard among the brethren also. There is a pastor that was in here. There is a pastor's fellowship or a meeting of the pastor's fraternity that you, you belong to. Could you please take some of the CDs that God has used to affect you? Don't let it die with you. Cause it to be read, to be heard among the Laodiceans also. Spread the truth. Spread the word. Cause it to be read among the brethren also. The papers that were presented and each of our resource persons that could, they put their papers. The Bible study caused it to be read also. If the truth is allowed to spread, we don't know how far this little thing God has joined our midst will affect people. We cannot predict what God will do by your hand if you do not allow this truth to perish with you. So that scripture says, this epistle, when this epistle is read among you, cause that it will be read also in the church of the Laodiceans. And the one that we wrote to them, let it be read in the church of the Colossians also. Hallelujah. What have I said to you? Spread the truth. Don't let it die with you. If anything has touched you, after you have assimilated and internalized it, what do you do? Spread it. Cause it to be read. We are not the one. God is able to cause his word to produce results wherever he goes. All the papers, all the papers cause it to be read, cause it to be studied. What is the third thing I want you to do? And say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord. See to it that you fulfill it. As you are going, take heed to what God has called you to do. Take heed to the pulpit that God has provided for you to stand in. Take heed to the ministry that you have received from the Lord. It's the Lord that brought you into ministry. It's the Lord that gave you this ministry. It's the Lord that gave you the platform. Please, take heed to it. Diligently pursue it. See to it that you fulfill it. See to it that what God has called you to do, do it with all your strength. Allow him to walk in you to bring to pass what he has placed in your hand. And the Lord of all grace will be with you in the name of Jesus. Finally, when our brother, Reverend Odebri, was leading us to pray, don't forget that he asked you to pray for us. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul, remember my bones. Grace be with you. Don't forget. Please pray for us. Will you? Please pray that we will not disappoint the Lord. Please pray that what God has done 
that is bringing us all together, we will not betray him. Ministry for us is a trust. Please pray. Don't think we have arrived. We have not. Don't imagine that we will not need your prayer. We need your prayers. Will you please pray for us? Will you? Eh? Will you remember us? And say, Lord, help these men. Lord, undertake for their lives. Lord, Lord, undertake for their lives. And with that, may I ask you to arise as we pray finally. I will ask, is a Bishop Okafo still around? Where is Baba place? Please come, sir. Please, Baba, come. He will come and conclude this meeting and bring us into benediction as we all stretch out our hands unto the Lord and say, God, we are going in your name. Help us to finish well. Help us to serve you acceptably. Help us to give you space. Thank you, sir. Please let us just pray together. I want you to say something to God. Concerning this church, let us take decisions before God Thank him again for these meetings. Since Monday, God has been dealing with us. That we are going to salute the brethren. We have a message to spread. We are going to spread the message. The word of God. We should not be selfish. We are not keep them to ourselves. Let's ask God for the grace to fulfill the ministry. It's important to take decisions and our commitment to pray for Peace House. God is doing great things in this place and through this place to many parts of the world. I want to see God do greater things in the years ahead. Oh, glory be to you, Jesus. Glory be to you, Father. We worship and adore you. Thank you because you have touched us. You have touched us. You have spoken to us. You are sending us out by your Spirit. Thank you, Lord. There is no one like you. Lord, prepare me. A sanctuary Pure and holy Tried and true With us given I be a Sanctuary for you. Just one more time. Lord, pray for me. Oh, a sanctuary pure and holy, tried and true. Ooh, with us given, I be a living sanctuary for you. 
Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We cannot thank you enough for revelations and for what you have impacted in our lives. That self must be crucified and is crucified. The life we live, we live by faith in the Son of God. And we are mere vessels. God's own sanctuary. God indwelling us and walking through us. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. That we may go with this knowledge. The knowledge that keeps us very humble indeed. That we can do nothing. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. It is all of God. Help us. That even as we have heard of that sister from Britain. That touched so many people over there. And the bishop from Sierra Leone. That we ourselves will go from here. And through us many many lives will be touched. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless your servant Willa. Bless his family. Bless Peace House. Bless all who have ministered to us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. You brought us safely to this place. I'm from early tomorrow morning. People are traveling back. North, south, east, and west. Even from outside the country. People have come and they will travel back. Father, grant everybody Johnny mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We bless you. We worship you. And your blessing shall remain with us. And God, our joy is that you are going to keep us by your power. That whether living or dead, when that trumpet shall sound, we shall be with the master forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.